Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon and Rising. I hope that all of you guys were able to celebrate these holidays surrounded by loved ones and the family that matter and the people that matter most to you. I wish you each and every single one of you guys a, pro a prosperous 2018. So let's get into this reading. Let's see what spirit has for Aries. Month of January 2018. Okay, so you have cards popping out already. I was shuffling prior, so that's my green light to stop. Okay, Aries, you have the Two of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, the Two of Swords, the Queen of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Three of Wands, the Knight of Swords, the Eight of Wands, and the Emperor. General energy is the Six of Cups. All right, Aries, I feel that for a lot of you guys, you guys are going to be dealing with children, or you're going to be dealing with, if, if you are an Aries that has ch uh, children, I feel that for the month of January uh, 2018, children is going to be very important to you. Um, reliving the past or going towards the past for some of you guys it could be that you know the holidays just you know recently happened so perhaps you went uh you went back home you went to visit your parents etc um but it is a very i feel that it's a positive energy uh positive energy in the sense of it is nostalgic looking towards the past but i feel that this is your energy aries looking towards the past of 2017 and all the um the struggles and the obstacles that you went through and that you were able to overcome so that's definitely a positive thing now you do have the two of wands here and the eight of pentacles so i feel that for a lot of you guys you guys are for some of you aries uh, you guys are currently putting effort towards a relationship and trying to build something long term or committed uh, for some of you guys i do see movement uh, in regards to moving in or planning for marriage um, you do have the two of swords though the two of swords definitely talks about not wanting to make a choice or not wanting to make a decision now for some of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship it could be that you've been together for two years even eight for some four for others um, and th your partner's wanting something long-term they're wanting something uh, more structured uh, you know so what that would represent is marriage so if you guys have been living together have been dating for quite a while they're wanting you to take it to the next level but there's a feeling of uncertainty and not wanting to make movement based out of fear uh, for some of you guys maybe you fear that if you actually commit or take it to the next level things may change uh, and not in a positive way so again it's almost a feeling of stuckness but it's because you're not wanting to make a choice now you do have the three of wands and the three of wands is looking towards the future or uh, putting your projects or your goals uh, before you to be able to move forward and know why you're taking each single step um, and you're going towards again there's the eight of wands here so the eight of wands could represent the arrows of love it could represent very quick communication coming back and forth for some of you guys it could represent travel as well now i do see the queen of swords here and the queen of swords could be um this could be a mother figure for some of you guys a mother figure or it could be you know an air sign an air sign would be a libra um an aquarius or a gemini and I feel that this energy uh, is bringing some truth or some honesty to you. So if you guys are, in fact, with a partner or have been dealing with an air sign and they come off a little bit standoffish or they come off a little bit, uh, you're, it's really hard for them, like for you to read them, know and understand that they are honest and they are very honest, <laughs> sometimes blatantly honest. Um, but again there is no need to feel like this person is leading you on to something that is going to have no avail know and understand that if they are actually giving you the time or they're actually putting effort into getting to know you it's because they're wanting to move forward in this relationship okay so you don't have to feel like you're on the defensive um if in fact this is a mother figure uh you know for those of you guys that have a mother that was either she raised you on her own 
or she is a widow uh, know and understand that she's bringing enlightenment to your understanding there's some type of communication coming through where you're going to be able to see things on a different perspective so Aries know and understand that for some of you guys that had a mother that was or have a mother sorry have a mother that was that seemed like she could never connect with you on a deeper level because she didn't you felt like she didn't love you enough know and understand that that has absolutely nothing to do with it it her person or the way she became has a lot to do with the struggles and strife that she had to go through at a very young age um so it could have been the lack of stability in her own home uh or it could have been that she herself didn't have a loving affectionate mother which then in turn uh, became something more difficult for her to express her emotions um so perhaps she wasn't as um loving and as affectionate as you would have wanted okay but i feel that there is clarity coming through in regards to uh this woman again like i said if she is a mother uh clarity in regards to your mother and past traumas from childhood uh the six of pen uh, sorry the six of cups does talk about childhood as well so it could be that you finally have a better understanding of why she is the way she is or why she was so forceful uh very strict with you why she always you know made you feel like you were less but in reality what she was trying to do is show you that she always had very high expectations of you because perhaps she knew that you had it in you okay so i hope that makes sense i know it's not going to resonate with everyone but it's going to resonate with a few of you guys because this message is coming through very strongly now if you are dealing with an air sign um again there is clarity and understanding coming about uh there is communication uh communication coming through on both sides on your side and on their side in regards to where we go from here and do we move forward uh, you do have the page of swords here and the page of swords could be a very impulsive energy but it can also represent immaturity uh, so for some of you guys if you are currently with a partner that is an air sign uh, they could come off as a little bit immature um, they could be very quick to anger uh, I know the Queen of Swords usually doesn't have that. Queen of Swords usually is a very cutthroat type of energy. Uh, it's an er energy that doesn't really put up with bullshit. But under it, um, with the Page of Swords, it could be that you're the one. And I know this may not be uh, out the blue because I know, you know, I love my Aries. I have a lot of Aries friends. But you guys do have a childhood type of energy there's this you know playful energy and the queen of swords could be that they're seeing you as immature because there's certain attributes of yourself or how you you know re or act with them react with them or interact with them uh that gives them this feeling of immaturity like you're a, a bit immature nonetheless there is communication easy communication coming through and the emperor this is your card aries i feel that in january stability definitely comes through and for those of you guys that have been expecting uh either a raise or a new opportunity in your workforce that definitely does come through by the end of january you pretty much uh end the month very very strongly as this is your card the emperor and this is a very structured energy but more than structured i feel that your finances finally become stable you're able to get to a point to say i'm actually stably uh sorry i'm actually financially stable or secure uh and again like i said i do see that there is honesty and truth in the communication for january so again um i wish you guys the very best and i hope you know the very best for 2018 for all of you guys okay light and love to you guys and i'll see you guys soon bye